the Black Dragon Fatalist, the most badass monster in the game, you almost convinced me you can't be solo in Monster Hunter Stories 2. But once again, I have emerged victorious in this battle, even if the NPC is basically pulling my leg throughout the fight. Hello my Bruh. friends, Brian here, and today, I'm gonna share with you my step-by-step -step strategy guide to solo the Black Dragon Fatalist in Monster Hunter Stories 2. Let's go! Alright, before that, let me give you an heads up. My best time is 45 turns as of recording. But for all you pro out there that is already at level 99, you should be able to get sub 40 turns easily using this method. Alright, let's go! Again. First thing first, you have to be over level 90 in order to survive this fight solo. There's no way around that. So go grind some level if you have yet to pass level 90. Now back to the topic. There are a lot of preparation required for the fight. First, let us go through the equipments. For weapons, you have to bring a hunting horn with the Evasion Reef song, which is either Welkana or the Soul Seer one. You have to forge this if you have yet to do so, else you can't win the fight. Next, I suggest to bring a Dragon Gun Lens. The shelling ability is handy for charging up kinship at blinding speed. The Devil Joe Gun Lens is the best Dragon Element Gun Lens for now. It have the same stats as the Fatalist one, so just bring this along. For the last weapon slot, you can be anything you like. I brought the Nergi Great Sword just to sneak in a few hits here and there. For the armor, I'm using the Molten Tigrex armor for the Soul Kinship XL skill. The defense on the armor is not really important. Fatalis can hit you with up to 650 damage on a normal attack. You are gonna get KO no matter what, so just pick any armor you like. For the talisman, put on anything that will help boost kinship charging speed. You need to have a constant supply of kinships to pull this strategy off. Next up, for the monster, I suggest to bring one from each power type so you can easily trigger double attacks without wasting kinship points. For the technical slot, you definitely need a Stygian Sinogre. This build is available in the previous video, I will link it down in the description below. For the power slot, bring the godlike herbivore War Eptonoth. I will explain how to use it in the later part of the video, so please stay tuned. For the speed slot, I brought a Silver Wind, but it can be anything actually. As long as the HP is over 600, it can survive most LE attacks thrown at you by Vitalis. And uh, finally, for your partner, both Riverto or Cheval can be used. Riverto can dish out more damage, while Cheval can use kinship skill that will give you more time to use items. So it depends on your preference. Okay, now the preparation is done, we are ready for the big showdown. Let us go through each phase step by step. The attack pattern for each phase is as shown in this chart. The link to the full image is down below for your perusal. You can thank me later. Phase 1 is very straightforward as Fatalis will rotate between the two attack patterns until its HP is below 50%. You don't need to focus too much on attacking it during this phase, just let the AI do whatever they like. Your main focus however is to charge up all your monster kinship gauge as soon as possible. This can be done easily using the Shaoling ability from the Gun Lens to charge kinship from 0 to 100 in one turn. Then, on every third turn, use Evasion Reef to prevent getting KO by Sky Force or Hellish Flame. Nice. After a few rounds, Fatalis will stand up for the first time. Then for the next 3 turns, it will attack 2 times in a row. The first round is 2 Dragon Whips. You can use Evasion Reef to evade both hits. For the second round, it will do a Dragon Whip followed by a Dragon Swipe, which is an AoE attack. To prevent any casualty, it is best to use an Aptonov Kinship here to knock Fatalis down. After it got up, it will continue the third round, which is Dragon Swipe and Dragon Slam. Switch to your Gun Lens and use Shaoling to counter Dragon Swipe while charging Aptonov Kinship to the max. Then, unfortunately, you have to take one for the team and tank Dragon Slam head on. This will KO you no matter what. Just heal the heart later when Fatalis is not targeting you. Then after this, the loop will repeat all over again. After you have charged up all your monsty, let Stygian Sinogre focus on attacking until Fatalis HP reach the 50% mark. Then we will enter phase 2. 
At the 50% mark, Vitalis will again suit up, but this time the attack pattern is different. Now this part is a bit tricky since the first attack is always a non-targeting skill. So again, use Evasion Rift to evade the first round and Aptonov's Kinship skill for the second round. For the third round, you need to switch to another monster with Kinship to spare and use Evasion Rift again. One of the team member will be hit by the dust explosion, but it is unlikely to get one shot. Then afterward, it's the same loop over and over again until you reach around the 20% HP mark. Keep rotating your monster and charge all kinship to the max and then keep wailing on Fatalis until it gets angry. Now, this is where the fun begins. I advise to follow these exact patterns to deal with the last phase of the fight. Turn 1, it will do 2 Dragon Burst. There is no safe way to get around this attack. So just use an Aptonov Kinship here and KO Fatalis. Turn 2, switch monster and use Evasion Reef here to avoid both single target attacks. On turn 3, bring out the Gun Lance and also Aptonov, then counter Dragon Swipe with Shaolin and charge Aptonov Kinship in the process. Again, you need to take one for the team and get KO by Sky Force. Turn 4, Dragon Burst and Dragon Swipe. It is too dangerous to tank these attacks. Again, use the of Kinship skill to KO Fatalis. Turn 5, switch monster and bring out the Hunting Horn and use Evasion Reef again. One team member might get KO here, but don't mind it. We'll have time to heal later. Don't use a Kinship here like I did. It is not worth it. Turn 6, Dragon Swipe and Dragon Burst. Bring out Aptonov and Gunlands again to counter Dragon Swipe with Shaolin and charge Aptonov's Kinship. No choice but to tank the Dragon Burst here. The Monsty and Riverto probably will survive, but the Rider probably will get KO again. And after turn 6, the loop will repeat again and back to 2 Dragon Burst. Just repeat the process from 1 again you should be near the last 1% HP mark by now, so be sure to have full hearts to tank the Dust Eruption in case you didn't cast Evasion Rift on time. Finally, before Fatalis die, it will use the Dust Eruption to bring everyone along with it. You either tank this or use the Evasion Rift to evade it. As long as you have full hearts, this should not cause game over. Finally, just hit Fatalis one last time and you are done. Good job my friend, congratulations. Alright, hope this helped you out. I will now continue to find a way to get sub 40 turns solo. Check out some builds here if you have no idea what to bring to the Fatalis fight. That it is for this video and I shall see you in the next one. This is Brian from Malaysia, over and out.